Welcome back to you. And thank you, Chandler. Well, developing right now a tragic end in the search for the grandson of Camden City Council President. The 20 year old who was missing has been found dead. Eyewitness News, News reporter Trang Doe is live in Camden with the latest details. Good morning, Trang. Hey, good morning, Janelle and Jim. The young man's family held a vigil yesterday in the hopes of his safe return, but sadly, they got some heartbreaking news just a short time later. Now, spokesman for Camden County's police department did confirm overnight that the body of Curtis Jenkins III was discovered here on Liberty Street sometime overnight. It's just a tragic ending to a very mysterious and strange crime. Now, police are not releasing just the manner of death, but they do say they are investigating this as a homicide. But take a look here. 20 year old Jenkins shared the name of his grandfather, who is Camden City Council President Curtis Jenkins. The younger Jenkins was reported missing on Monday from his home on the thousand block of Mechanic Street, which is actually just the next street over from where his body was discovered here on the 1100 block of Liberty Street in the city's Gateway neighborhood. Tuesday afternoon, Camden County Police announced the arrest of 32 year old. Brandon Beverly of Westville, New Jersey, in connection with Jenkins' disappearance. This, even though there was no trace of the victim at that time. Beverly was charged with kidnapping and aggravated assault. Chief Scott Thompson said Jenkins was targeted, calling it a calculated plot to entrap and abduct the victim. The relationship, if any, between Beverly and Jenkins is not clear at this time. Meanwhile, Beverly is being held at the Camden County Jail. It is very likely his charges will be upgraded given the discovery of Jenkins' body. But for now, we're live from Camden. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Janelle and Jim, back to you. Okay, Trang, thanks very much.